Honestly, this innocent white box contains one of the most dangerous appliances I have ever seen. It's a water tester or a water analyzer, which uses electrolysis to test your drinking water. The set contains this device and two pairs of electrodes. So let's open it. Here's the machine. It has a Chinese plug, a cable, a switch, an LED, a fuse, and four screws sticking out of it. And there's the set of electrodes. They are not all the same, there are two shinier ones and two darker ones. There's some manual, but it's only in Chinese, so it doesn't help me much. And there is some warning, but also just in Chinese. You are supposed to screw those electrodes on the screws, but they are not all the same diameter. So you have to put those shiny ones on the bigger screws and those darker ones on the smaller screws. So there must be some reason why you have to keep the position of the electrodes. According to the instructions, you should stick it into two cups of water, each pair of electrodes into one of them. So this device is able to test two samples of a drinkable water at the same time. The water should change its color according to the chemical substances present in it. I'm not an expert on chemistry, but the material of those electrodes must have some special function here. But there's something sinister about this device. I will plug it in, turn it on, and... And yes, this is a mains voltage lamp. Now you can see how insanely dangerous it is. Let's try to measure the voltage. There's about... Not much AC, I will turn it to DC. And that's over 200 volts DC. The darker electrodes are positive and the shinier ones are negative. It contains quite a high DC voltage. Let's take a look inside. And... There's not much of it. I can see mains coming in. There's the switch, fuse holder, an LED, and a bridge rectifier. And that's it. The mains goes just through a fuse and a switch. Then it goes into a bridge rectifier and directly into the electrodes. The shiny ones are connected and the darker ones are connected. So there is one positive and one negative in each pair. So there is absolutely no isolation from mains. It puts the mains voltage directly to the electrodes just through a bridge rectifier. And this is definitely not much safer than using the mains voltage directly. So let's make a schematic because it's definitely not gonna be complicated. So here's the simple schematic and the mains comes in. One side goes through a switch and the other one goes through a 10 amp fuse. That's actually a lot of current. There's the indication LED with its series resistor and there's the bridge rectifier. I have drawn it like this to make it even more apparent that it doesn't make any mains isolation. And finally we have the two pairs of electrodes. The darker ones are positive 
and the shiny ones are negative. If this wasn't dangerous enough, the switch makes it even worse. It only switches one side and if this side is neutral and this one is live, the electrodes are alive even when the switch is off. This type of plug is symmetrical so you can plug it in both ways around. And even if the user is aware of the dangerous voltage here, he may not realize that this switch doesn't turn it off properly. So he may handle it as safe when this switch is off, which is not a good idea. The switch appears to turn it off, but there still may be a voltage in reference to ground. Now there's no voltage because it's switching the live, but when I turn it over, it lights up half brightness, even when the switch is off. That's because the electrodes are still connected to live through this and this diode. I have printed the manual. Great practical significance for when the need to test water. How to use. This part tells how to use it. At the end turn the power switch is pressed to the off off position and finally remove the electrolyzer. Interestingly, it doesn't say anything about unplugging it. Testing analyzes results. This explains which substances each color indicates. And it looks really scary, like arsenic, mercury, lead, bacteria, viruses, carcinogens, organic phosphorus, fertilizers, detergents, pesticides, lead, mercury again, and cadmium. Luckily there is a security warning. When powered on, the hand cannot touch the electrode, finger does not insert into the test water. Do not let children play electrolyzer. There is something about safekeeping and some chemical reactions in the water will give users a miscarriage of justice. That's nice. And finally let's see it in operation. I will use a tap water and a mineral water. From a bottle. I also have a power meter to see how much does it draw. So let's stick it in. Plug it in and uh, my power meter is over range. It's drawing one kilowatt. That's crazy. And it's growing. 1200 watts. That's really a lot. The mineral water bubbles, but it still looks clean. The tap water becomes quite dirty. It's like yellowish, greenish, black dirt in it. Really disgusting. It smells horribly. The power is almost 2 kilowatts now. I'm probably over range, almost. It harms. Oh, that's horrific. And it's probably also dangerous. I can hear a humming noise. The mineral water boils. I think that's enough. The electrodes are blackened now. So let's try only one of them. This one draws about 600 watts. And this one 1200. This one draws more. 
So my mineral water is kind of green or black. So it contains arsenic, mercury, lead, copper, sodium and also heavy metals including cadmium. And the tap water is yellowish black so it contains dissolved sanzo, what it is, silicon compounds, organic minerals, molybdenum, silicon fluoride and other organics. And it's also a little bit black, so it also contains cadmium. This one looks a little bluish to me now, so it also may contain bacteria, viruses, carcinogens, organic phosphorus, fertilizers, detergents and pesticides. So that's really scary. I can also see some brown here, but there is no brown. So it's horrific to see what you are actually drinking. But I think that in reality this dirt doesn't come from the water, it comes from the electrodes. They are trying to convince you that this type of device can reveal what's in the water. But actually this dirt comes from the electrodes dissolving by the electrolysis. And my cat is curious what's happening here. So the electrodes dissolve and create some metal compound in the water. So any kind of water will look completely toxic with this device. The only water that will stay clean is probably a distilled water because it's not conductive. The positive electrodes suffer some discoloration in the process and they probably release something in the water. Now let's try tap water versus a distilled water. Plug it in, stick it in, turn it on. It draws 500 watts, almost 600. The tap water becomes dirty again and I can see no changes in the distilled one. About 600 watts and all the power is the tap water. The distilled water draws only about 6 watts, so it's not very conductive. So the distilled water is probably the only water that can pass this test. Is the purpose of this device to make you drink distilled water? Maybe they are trying to sell you some special kind of expensive distilled water for drinking. Because the dirt doesn't come from the water, it comes from the electrodes. And the only thing it can indicate is the conductivity of the water. So this is probably some part of a crazy advertising, but it's also dangerous as hell. It seems that eBay is full of those. They are being sold to general public which has no idea how dangerous it is. And there are like 100 different sellers selling it. As you can see there's so many of them. So definitely don't try this at home. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.